Europe is a rich piece of land. Whether it be scenic beauty or vibrant cultures and traditions, or valuable art, the continent has it all. However, thanks to the modern hectic and monotony demanding life, it is only rare that one can take time out enough to explore all of Europe's top destinations. But all hope is not lost. Travel itineraries are an excellent way to make the most out of your exploratory journeys. Welcome to Multicity Trips, the multi-destination travel expert for personalized multi-city trips to Europe. And in today's video, we bring you five of our favorite two-week itineraries across Europe that will let you absorb the continent's maximum goodness in only two weeks. New to our travel channel? We post new videos every Monday and Thursday, so subscribe today and ring the bell so you don't miss out on our latest travel guide, inspiration, tips, and amazing travel itineraries available to your favorite destinations in Europe. To make the most of these two-week Europe itineraries and travel guides, check out our recommended flights, hotels to stay in, and more things you can do at each destination in the video description below. For a full list of recommendations mentioned in any of our travel itineraries, click on the link provided in the description to access the blog post version of this guide from our website. Let's dive in. Itinerary 1. London, Paris, and Rome Are you on a quest to explore iconic landmarks and the most recognized sites in the world? If that is so, then the London, Paris, Rome multi-city itinerary is just the right thing for you. The set cities are littered with famous spots, monuments, and buildings, so a trip through them would allow you the opportunity to live a fulfilling travel experience. How to travel between cities? The best way to commute from London to Paris is via train. Although there exists a train link from Paris to Rome, one should fly from the former to the latter, for the train ride is uncomfortably long. The Itinerary Keep the first four days of your multi-destination trip dedicated to London. This is the ideal amount of time to explore and discover most of the city's renowned spots, like Big Ben, London Eye, Tower Bridge, and Buckingham Palace. Then hop onto a train and travel to Paris, where you should be spending the next four to five days of your multi-city itinerary. With monuments like the Eiffel Tower, Notre Dame Cathedral, and the Louvre seemingly sprinkled across the city, you will have enough to keep you on your toes. Lastly, board a flight to Rome and spend the last few days of your trip living the vibe of the city. The city in itself is legendary, and the remnants of art and architecture from its days of glory form excellent landmarks that you must visit. Roam around the alleys, see monumental buildings, and eat delicious cuisine to mark the perfect end to your itinerary. Itinerary 2 – Amsterdam, Berlin, and Budapest If you are a party person looking to party and celebrate through your multi-destination itinerary, the Amsterdam-Berlin-Budapest journey is the one you should embark upon. Known for their vibrant and exotic nightlife, these cities are perfect for someone who wants to dance and drink his or her trip away. But understand that this itinerary has a lot more to offer than clubs and parties. There are some excellent spots no one should miss, like the Van Gogh Museum and the Berlin Wall. How to travel between cities? One excellent way to get from Amsterdam to Berlin is via train. However, if you're not up for a six-hour train ride, perhaps air travel would suit you better. On the other hand, the ideal choice is air travel to get from Berlin to Budapest, as taking a train would mean spending half a day traveling. The Itinerary Plan to stay the first three days of your multi-city itinerary in Amsterdam. If budgeting is not an issue for you, you can even choose to stay longer. You can explore the city's tiny alleys, clubs, the Anne Frank House, and the Van Gogh Museum during your time here. After your time here ends, get a train or air ticket and leave for Berlin, 
the next step in your itinerary. This city is known for its vibrant nightlife, so you should make the best out of it. In the four to five days you are here, check out the Berlin Wall, the Reichstag building, in addition to the city's top clubs. After you are done touring Berlin, fly to Budapest and lose yourself in its vibe. During the days, visit the famous landmarks like Buda Castle and Fisherman's Bastion. During the nights, party in the city's ruin bars. Itinerary 3. French Riviera, Monaco, and Milan Suppose you are looking for a luxurious getaway, where you spend your days indulging in extravagance and nights dedicated to lavish comfort. In that case, the French Riviera, Monaco, Milan multi-city itinerary is best suited for you. How to travel between cities? If you have decided to visit the cities mentioned above, there are high chances that you don't have budgeting issues. So we recommend that you either take your car or hire a rental car to help you commute between cities. The itinerary. For this multi-destination trip, you can choose to divide your time among the three cities equally. If a specific city attracts you particularly, you can choose to spend a greater amount of time there. Start your itinerary from the French Riviera, home to a few of the world's best high-end resorts. It, therefore, offers its visitors a premium vacation. If you plan your trip around May, which is the time of the Cannes Festival, you might also get to spot celebrities. After you are done relaxing in the Riviera, Get comfortable in your car and prepare yourself for some enjoyable time ahead, for your next stop is Monaco, a playground for the affluent. Littered with extravagant spots like the Jardin Exotique and Monte Carlo Casino, you are sure to feel like royalty spending time here. And lastly, to seal the deal, make your final trip to Milan, the country's fashion center. Shop your time away in some of the world's most exquisite boutiques and shopping centers. You can also treat yourself to the city's luxurious hotels after a day of exhaustive shopping. Itinerary 4. Madrid, Paris, and Venice Anyone who is into art and architecture would know the importance of Paris, Madrid, and Venice home to excellent museums with historical art pieces and architecture that speak of the ancient peoples and genius, you would surely lose yourself in the myriad of remarkable points and articles. Prepare to be astonished and amazed while you tour through Paris, Madrid, and Venice in your multi-city itinerary. How to travel between cities? The best way to travel from Madrid to Paris is via air, for the train journey takes too long to be convenient. The same applies to the trip from Paris to Venice. The Itinerary The first step in your multi-destination itinerary is Madrid. With several famous museums and attractions present in the city, there is enough to keep you fully occupied for three days. After your time in Madrid expires, board a flight to Paris, the city of art and museums. There is so much to do here that you would need at least four days to explore the city's offerings and marvel at great historical art pieces in renowned museums like Musée d'Orangerie. As for the last point in your Europe itinerary, land in Venice, a city known for its incredible collection of fine art, city canals, and gorgeous streets. Spend the remaining days of your itinerary here, exploring this city's beauty. Itinerary 5. Munich, Prague, and Berlin While all cities in Europe have many conventional attractions for visitors, like museums and bars, etc., a few have something extra. That something extra does not keep you on your toes. Instead, it invites you to slow down, to explore, to discover, and to live experiences as you have never lived before. This is one of the most fulfilling ways to experience local cultures and traditions. Berlin, Munich, and Prague are three cities you can visit to spend a vacation of this sort. 
how to travel between cities. A train ride from Munich to Prague may not prove suitable, for the journey takes too long. You should either rent a car or book a flight to travel from the former to the latter. As for the commute between Prague and Berlin, all modes, that is road, rail, and air, are somewhat equivalent, so it's a matter of one's taste and choice to see what suits one more. The Itinerary This multi-destination itinerary through Europe starts from Munich. You should plan to dedicate the first three days of your trip to touring this city. Put on a comfortable pair of shoes and let yourself loose in the streets of Munich as you set out to explore remarkable spots like the State Collection of Egyptian Art, the Botanical Gardens, and the NS Documentation Centrum. At the end of the third day, it is time for you to set out on a journey that would lead you to Prague. This small city can be scaled on foot, so bring those comfortable shoes with you. For the next four to five days, relax in the aura of this peaceful city. Meet with the friendly locals, eat in the cafes and restaurants, and visit famous sites like the Prague Castle, the John Lennon Wall, and Old Town Hall Tower. After exhausting all of Prague's activities, embark on a trip to your multi-city Europe itinerary's last spot, Berlin. With several unique and must-see sites in the city, you would need all of the remaining days of your trip to complete the Berlin experience. There you have it, five of our favorite two-week itineraries across Europe that will let you absorb the continent's maximum goodness in only two weeks. We hope you find our itineraries and guide helpful, and if you are planning a trip inspired by our itineraries, ensure to check our recommended flights, hotels to stay in, and best things to do during your visit in the video description below. Got only two weeks and need help planning and finding the best vacation package to Europe? Visit us at multicitytrips.com today and see how our travel experts can help you design and personalize your two weeks trip to Europe.